What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Guys, there's a crazy conversation right now going on about BBLs and them having a bad smell. Apparently, BBLs carry a very bad odor, and that's disgusting. Now, there's ways to avoid it, but I did this is the first time I've heard about this. I was intrigued and also disgusted as I went deeper into this discussion of people talking about this online, and now you get to hear it for yourself. It starts out with this man who shares a story. This video's captioned, BBLs do be smelling. Let's get it. Yeah, those BBLs be stinking. So you guys may have seen this online that BBL smells is trending. And there are a lot of reasons for that smell, but I think that I will tell you guys a story about a girl that I dated mm -hmm. and uh, I took her out and she had had a BBL. Her body looked crazy good. Like she had it done right. Her whole body looked amazing. So we linked up and we went out, had a really good time. Right. We went to a Lakers game and then went to a spot by LA Live and had some dinner, had a really good time. And so she was like, so what you trying to do? I was like, yeah, let's go back to my place and relax, have a nightcap and see where it takes us. Okay. So we drive back to my spot. And so light the candles, get the music going, open up a bottle of champagne, and we're sitting there and we're having a nice vibe. And, um, you know, we start getting into it and everything, and clothes start to come off. And she wanted to give me a little show. So she was like, just stand right there. And so, like, she took off everything very seductively okay. and got on my bed. And start twerking. <laughs> just getting kind of good. In that thing, right? Right. And I was like, what the hell? Because at this point, she got nothing on. No. And I smelled this smell, and it hits my nose. The shit was like a assault of my nose <laughs> I'm like what the hell right and so I'm like uh, baby uh, not to be rude but I know we had a long day um, you're not smelling that fresh down there I think you guys I think you need to get into the shower and uh, go ahead and uh, freshen up. <laughs> oh, you know she was embarrassed as F. She didn't like that coffee. And she looked at me so embarrassed. Of course. I did it as gently as I could, but what I realized is if someone has had a normal size behind mm. for all of their life, right. and then they switch up, and now they got this big BBL, they, they have to reach back there and really clean. You know what I'm saying? You tell me the shit back there, bro. Ah, oh, come on. And and if they're not used to doing that, they might not know that. Hey, you sweat differently. Everything is different when you add that much more meat back there. That thing can't breathe as good. No. And uh, <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. <laughs> so she ended up getting in the shower and everything. I had everything that she needed. And uh, I ended up clapping them cheeks. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> and it was much better. But some people, the smell, I think her smell was coming from. Hold on. We can't just go. We, can, we have to talk about that right there. Gentlemen, would you still have followed through? Would you still have followed through knowing that you smelt sweat and um, whatever else was back there? She wasn't wiping correctly. That's nasty. That's nasty. Put that coffee down. Let me know what you would do. Let me know what you would do. If I was hypothetically in this situation back in the streets and dealing with this, there's no way, bro. I'm just not being able to get back there and clean properly. But some people smell is coming from what the excretions and what's coming out with the fat that they've actually put in 
to their bodies. So, you know, BBLs for me, it's just for fun. I, that's Those women are for fun. Like, you can't take women with BBLs, in my opinion, the parent-teacher conferences. They big old ass knocking over the little kids' crayons and stuff as they try to walk through the parent-teacher's conferences in them small-ass classrooms. That's not really for me. That's for fun. That's for, you know, weekend fun. You know, wifey material is just regular, natural women that you can build a family with and give a great life to. But that's one of my stories on BBLs. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. All right. All right. Well, shout out to the brother for sharing his experience here. We're going to check out some of these comments in the comments section. We've got a couple of videos that are going to be coming up here. But let's see what the people have to say about this particular video, man. First comment here says, a BBL smells? What? The laughing emoji. I'm blown away. Everybody's blown away. They're all just listening. Now we're going to look at the BBL chicks a lot differently, especially as this video progresses. It's just going to get more disturbing. I'm warning you, you know, you can leave now if you'd like. We've got a chick here who says, I don't have a BBL, but I've got a big one and I have to clean two twice a day for real, for real. We've got another chick here who chimed in. This turned into a thread of a bunch of caked up women, apparently. This chick says, for real, for real, I had to stop using toilet paper and switch to wipes. Another person here says, wipes are my go-to. Another person here said, wipes and lotion afterwards to smell nice and clean or wash and lotion. Those are my options. Guys, let's not forget. Let's not forget what this topic is about. This topic is about BBL smelling horribly. Not the women who had the natural cheeks. But the women with BBLs, there is a smell. He talked about not only they don't know how to clean it right because you weren't raised up with it and you think you can go on living the way you were before, but also he says there was a secretion, which is wild. Let's keep reading. Somebody else here says, got a speeding ticket trying to get to the comment section. So did we. Here's somebody else who says, I put my Crocs in sports mode and headed right to the comments. That's hilarious. Here's another comment from a woman who was thinking of getting a BBL. She can't believe the news. She's disgusted and says, confirmation, I don't need a BBL. Put that coffee down. She doesn't want that coffee. Somebody else here said, I'd have just gone home and died if a man told her, hey, you need to go freshen up. This smells like a dead cat. We've got another comment here that says, I know, right? BBL or not, the fact that he had to tell me, OMG. We've got another comment here that says, not him telling her she needed to freshen up. And somebody else here added, these are all chicks, coming from a girl with BBL. Okay, okay. Let's hear what she has to say. The secretion smells horrible. Guys, we're getting confirmation here. The chicks with the BBL apparently smell like shit. What's 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 crazy about that is it actually could be real, sh real actual shit, because they don't know how to wipe it. Also, a mixture of secretion. Tell me that's not disgusting. Goes on to say, couldn't think of doing anything in the first four months. Wow, the first four months after she got, she couldn't think of doing anything else just because of the this this the smell. Whoa. So here, guys, in this next video, we have yet another chick who has experience about this whole secretion business. No more wasting time. Let's get it. So right before you get a BBL, the doctor makes you sign a form. It's basically like, in order for you to have a BBL, you have to stink for the rest of your life. And that's just something you have to give up. So yeah, I do smell. I'm just kidding. No, what the f So <laughs> I did have a smell though. So the day, after, the day of my surgery, I got an IV because the bitch passed out. And my pee smell like vitamins. If you take vitamins, you know what I'm talking about. But it smelled like stronger. It was like a really strong like vitamin smell when I peed. And then after, there is a like a weird like smell, but it's from all the liquid that comes out of my body during the massages. Bro, this is gross. And I, I think, does she have an example there? This is the liquid. It's not blood. It's just like the liquid they inject. Ah. Oh. Hell no. Nah. To you to separate the fat and your like skin. Um, in the beginning, I feel like it did. I can't even describe the smell, but it's not a bad smell. But now I don't smell that anymore, and I'm good. And I wash myself. I wash my ass. Okay. Guys, 
What are you what are you guys thinking so far? Maybe you've had experience. Share it down in the comment section down below. Here's another chick though, man, um, who kind of had a mix opinion when it came to this BBL stuff. Her opinion was a bit different. Now we've actually seen this chick before on the coffee pod. Let's see what she had to say. BBLs be smelling. I just got tagged in a video of a guy doing a story time saying that he was about to mess around with this girl. She gets on the bed and proceeds to twerk and then twerk me and come in his face and it stings. And he blames this on the fact that she got a BBL. Right. Instead of the fact that he was messing with a woman who got poor hygiene. Like, I need you to be so serious as a grown man. Like, how are you going to really sit up here and blame that on the BBL instead of the woman having poor hygiene? Hmm. Right. I don't know if this was for clickbait, but the 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 lifts that y'all will go sometimes with the BBL conversation is a little outrageous, right? I didn't say my piece on it before, but I would never go as drastic as to cosign silly stuff like this. Like, be so for real. If a woman don't know how to properly clean, it don't matter whether or not the body's natural or whether or not a surgeon performed it and gave it to her. If she don't know how to properly clean herself, that's the end of the story. And it's saying a lot that you proceeded to go ahead and smash a girl who don't know how to properly clean herself. We're going to give him one more. Right? You can sit up here and cap and act as if, you know, the BBL had anything to do with her poor hygiene. But the truth of the matter is you're a nasty man. Right, because you still you still slept with her, regardless of you made her go take the shower, or whatever you claim you did. I doubt you did that. If the story even real or not, all right? Because I, I don't. No, nah, I don't. I don't think he's. I don't think he's making it up. There's just too many. There's too many people talking about this online for it to be made up. There's no way. There's no way he made that up. There's too many people. It's it's literally trending. I realize this dude be saying a lot of wild stuff, and he don't even give me dude who really pull girls like that. Right? Unless he got money, and I don't even know if he do, I I'm not getting that he gets girls like that. Shots fired. The stuff he say online be way too outrageous. A dude who get girls would never get online and say something this goofy, like girls who got BB heels be smelling a certain kind of way. Because dudes who get girls have messed with enough women to know that any of them can have poor hygiene, and it doesn't matter. But a dude who don't get girls... <sighs> She's kind of got a point right there, bro about the hygiene she's got. You don't have to have a BBL to have bad hygiene. We can agree on that. Girls like that will say something silly like this. All right, so here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at when it comes to this conversation. This is just my thoughts, closing statements. Number one, disgusting. When it comes to BBLs, I could never relate to the attraction to the BBL. In my whole life living on this earth, I could never relate. Could I understand it? Yes, I understand how a woman with fat cheeks could be attractive. I get it. But knowing, to me, it's, it's about knowing there's plastic in there. And that's not me hating on guys who can entertain that. But I've, I've just never, when I was out dating and about... I would actually be turned off by a lot of chicks with BBLs. I think a lot of guys would agree. You want a natural woman. I do think, and this is just me, this is a, this is me theorizing here, and I want to know what you guys think. I think the same guys who can like be with a sex doll, follow me here, who can be with like a sex doll, they use certain gadgets to like, you, you know, the, the sexual gadgets, and they can trick themselves to thinking that that's a real woman. I think those men who can do that are also capable of looking at a woman with the BBL and convincing themselves that that is a real booty in front of them. I think it takes a certain type of mindset. Um, you got to be able to do that. Otherwise, oh, you're thinking about like me when I see a chick and I'm in Los Angeles, it's everywhere. I'm like, oh, there's plastic in your, in your, in your butt. That's what comes to mind. And for some reason, to the guys who are really attracted to the chicks with the BBLs, they can't believe, they think you're lying when you say, nah, man, I, I, I understand the attraction. Like, I get it's nice to look at for a second, but when it starts to set in that there's plastic in your butt, 
I'm not attracted to that. They think you're lying. They're like, no, bro, you would smash. Never understood it. Don't get it. It's not real. That's not her real body. Now, am I against certain cosmetic procedures? Not completely. Like I think if someone did slight things, like I understand the nose job, you're 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 you're, you're like tighten things up. I understand like people doing small, um, and I I really mean this. I understand the small alterations, the nips, the tucks, and um, if I was to see a woman and not know she had a BBL, but she got one that wasn't so outrageous because most of them are, I think I also would be like, well that's better at least you can trick somebody who has my type of mindset to thinking that it's real and it wouldn't stick out like a sore thumb right now let's switch over to the conversation of bbl smelling bad based on what i've seen so far it sounds like there's two reasons bbl smell bad the first reason you can't avoid just because it's part of the process of getting the bbl and that's the excretion that smells horribly based on a lot of these chicks who have bbls and a lot of men who have experienced them the excretion apparently smells horrible and that's none avoidable sounds like it leaves after some time but then you gotta wash your ass then you gotta wash your cheeks and that seems like something that's difficult for a lot of chicks to do and i can imagine so think about this real quick when you see the chicks out here who actually do get BBLs, do they strike you as clean women? That's not me saying that they aren't women. Guys, I've actually had, let me, let me, let me go find this thing. I've actually had someone who I consider a, a, an acquaintance um, come on this channel. If you guys remember, I had somebody come on here, talk about BBLs. It was a guest. She she had a BBL. She spoke about Brazilian, but lifts and whatever. And um, it was a few years ago, but I released the whole video. I was asking her questions about it, etc. I'm not saying that everybody who gets the BBL is unclean, but let's be honest. When we see these ratchet women in music videos, when, when I see them out here in Los Angeles, when I see them out in Miami, I'll look at chicks like that and think that they are clean. This might sound horrible. I know some of them are, but in most cases, they've got the tats, right? On the thighs, on the face, and the, this is just a combination, the piercing, the purple hair, the BBL. It just doesn't look like somebody who's going to smell that fresh. Am I the only person who thinks about that as well? I can't be, come on. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. So I'm not surprised that those women who spend their lives getting sweaty and partying up in clubs and doing God knows what also don't really know how to wash their cheeks properly when it comes to the, those BBLs. Is that a fair, is that a fair assessment? Let me know. This shit is wild. This shit is crazy. I'm curious to know what you guys think. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be reading the comment section. Comment down below. As always, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.